What's up, bitches? Okay, seriously though. Hello. Hello. That's what I'm supposed to do. Jesus Christ, I forgot already. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to be kind of story time. Um, I was thinking about different ways to do this, and the easiest way to do it sounded like the best way to go, so that's what we're doing. Um, we're kind of Occam's razoring this shit. I almost said Occam scissoring, but that's a whole other thing, I think, and that's probably a website search term. Um, but hey, before I forget to tell you, there's a free book, ebook of mine, short stories, poetry, available on my website, IHateMattWall.com. It is a gift for you and you and you. And um, P.O. Box 3054, the new chapbook. Um, every month I've been putting out chapbooks since last April or May or something. And I've been still doing them every month. Um, they're limited edition. They're signed, um, each one. And um, there's only 20 of this one. And if you go to uh, IHateMattWall.com and then click the link for it or click the Etsy shop link, you could find it there. Or if you are a member of my Patreon on the $10 or higher tiers, you get that for free with other goodies. So um, we will uh, talk more about that at a later time, I guess. But story time. Let's get our, our cups of Joes. Oh, fantastic. Let's try to do something with my hair real quick. Can't tell a story with bad hair. Nope. I'm going to tell a story with bad hair. Okay. So this story is going to be the story of Goodbye Hope, which is um, the first part of Goodbye Hope is the um, EP that is available on any streaming platform right now. And if you can't find it, if you go to my website, heymountwell.com, up in the top left of the screen, there's this picture that I will put up now. And it's called The Filthy Hamster Wheel Spins. And this is um, Goodbye Hope Part 1. And I have thought long and hard on how to do this, how to tell this story to everybody. Um, because I love the music on this. I love how it plays. I love the songs. But there's a lot more story to it. <clears throat> and I was going to write a book about it. And I'm like, oh, do I want to write that book? Like, it, it just it wasn't feeling right at the time. And it wasn't feeling right this time. And I'm like, well, I'll just write poems about it. And then maybe, like, put the um, song lyrics into. Um, and then I just, that felt weird. So I'm going back to how I originally performed these pieces way back when way back in the coffee shop and bar days when I was um, playing these songs because again like these songs were written like 20 years ago and um, I would go out and do little coffee shop shows or bar shows and do little talking in between the songs um, telling the story because Goodbye Hope is a concept album. It's a big arcing story and it's going to be told in four EPs. And the first one just came out last week or so. Um, so this is the story. The protagonist that we follow in this story, let's say, is a dude whose name is Hope. And um, he always got made fun of for having a girl's name and the whole deal. And um, he always felt weird because he was always really down and really depressed with a name like Hope. It made him feel like a conundrum. It made him feel like a paradox. Like um, It made him feel worse than if his name was like Bill or something like that, you know. So um, one night, Hope is just tired of sitting alone, and he goes outside, and it's night, it's snowy, um, he's walking down the frozen icy streets, 
there's steam coming up out of the manholes on the road and everything like that. And um, he sees a sign that's like live nudes, girls, 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 like flashing neon lights and stuff. And he's like, yeah, yes, please. So then he goes in to this strip club. <clears throat> and then this is the song Strip Club on a Saturday Night. And what the song is about is he's there getting drunk, um, watching the girls dance, and then he sees this one chick dance, and he, like, feels her dance. It's, like, deep, like, emotional with him. And so he gets a lap dance from this chick. And as she's on top of him doing her thing, they lock eyes, and he, like, can see into her soul and sees every horrible thing that ever happened to her. And um, some of the good things, too, but the bad definitely outweighed the good. And um, at that moment, he completely falls for her. And um, starts seeing, like, her childhood and all this other stuff and how she grew up. And it started making him think of how he grew up. <clears throat> so she gets off, not off, but gets off of him and, like, goes to do her thing. But now he's, like, lost in this, like, train of thought. And then this takes us to the next song, which is called um, To Be Loved By You. And it's about how, as um, a teen, he... Um, was constantly trying to um, impress his mom. Um, broken family. So dad's one place, mom's another place. And he's constantly trying to, like, make his mom proud of him and all this shit. But the mom doesn't give a fuck. The mom sits around in a bathrobe all day, drinks all the fucking time, um, is just a sloppy drunk, and doesn't really give two shits. But when he's there she'll yell and scream at him and throw shit at him because he's there for her to act out in front of. But he didn't see it like this at the time. <clears throat> and um, the sad part of this story is that he finally gives up trying to impress her and um, just decides to follow her into alcoholism so they'll at least have something to talk about. So that's fucking horrific. Um, and then we get to the third song on this, which is called Layer Down. And um, this is a song where we see Hope um, picking up a hitchhiker um, on the side of the road out in the desert. And she's telling him how um, she's... She tried to, like, make it as a singer in L.A. and couldn't cut it, so she's going to Vegas to try to try her luck there. And he's like, oh, okay. And then they're just driving along, and then he pulls off on some, like, weird abandoned road, and the girl starts kind of freaking out, and he stops the car, and she starts really freaking out. And then she gets out of the car and starts running. He gets out and chases her, and... um he's like trying to calm her down and tell her that it's okay. And this is going to be over soon and not to worry. Um, and then he kills her and buries her in the desert. Um, but the thing here is, is that we realize that the things that hope has done now were done because this is what his father taught him to do. And so, again, that um, need to gain your parents' approval comes into this, where this is what he did. And then finally, um, River of Lost Souls is um, about him also committing crimes. And these ones are a bit more... Um, drastic and violent so i'm not going to get into detail of it here but 
um, he does um, another set of murders here. And then as this ends, we, the viewers or listeners or readers or however this story ever gets told, we and Hope as well aren't sure if any of those things really happened or not. Um, he may have done these things. He may not have done these things. But he knows that the girl who danced on his lap is um, hurting. And he wants to save her or protect her or do something. And that is how this first part of um, the story ends. So um, this is, again, the filthy hamster wheel spins. And in a couple months, I don't really know the release schedule. I was going to do it every season kind of thing. Um, but I might do it quicker because I'm excited to do it right now. And I don't want to, like, lose my excitement level for it. Um, so maybe I'll release them quicker. But um, the next um, EP, the next part of the story is called... Um, the couple named emotional instability and um when that comes out we'll do another sit down like this and we'll talk all about it so um you could like buy the ep on any of the shops or whatever or you could go to spotify or youtube music or whatever the fuck it is um uh, there's many ways to do things and i know of not many of them but um it's available. You can listen to it. Um, these songs on this one, I think, are some of the best I ever wrote. So um, if you give two shits about the music I make, this is probably the thing I would tell you to listen to. So um, go check out The Filthy Hamster Wheel Spins, and um, I hope you enjoy it. And um, let me know what you think about all this. And again, um, P.O. Box 3054 out now. And um, free ebook on my website. So um, until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.